Hello class. So today we're going to learn about the chain rule. Okay, let me see here. The chain rule is this part here. Okay, so here we go. So for the chain rule, um it is suppose y f composite of u is a function that is a composite of f is differentiable at u g x and u g x is differentiable at x i know this is a bit hard to understand in words so i think it's better we have some example okay so let's say we have uh, this function f x is cos x and gx is and the function gx is 4x so what does it mean by f gx composite into fx is okay we write back the function the function for fx which is cos x but in this in the in x part you will you have to put in for x okay so for this kind of function can we use the product rule no we can't okay because this is a composite function so for composite function we have to use the chain rule which is here the equation is here there is a uh, two uh, types of um, formula on how to solve um, composite function uh, kind of equation and for today we're going to uh, learn both method okay okay let's say here we have for example 10 okay that's not okay let's say here for example 10 um uh, y equal to cos 4x okay now we're going to learn uh, how to use the first method first which is this one okay y cos 4x so u here um Okay, uh, it can be uh, segregated into two functions, which is y and u. Eh, sorry, u. Okay, so for y is this part here can be represented as u. Right, so it should be cos u because we call it u now, right? Okay. So differentiate against u dy du y prime differentiate cos u you will get minus sine u. Okay, now we're going to differentiate the second part which is 4x u equal to 4x and then differentiate against dx du dx or u prime is 4 so according to this method what you should do is dy dx equal to dy du which is this one here dy du is minus sine u times du dx du dx here is 4 
So, for this one, it is minus 4 sine u. But, please do not forget for the final answer, you have to replace u with 4x. Again, okay? 4 sine 4x. So, this should be the final answer because what we want to do here, we want to differentiate it against dy dx, not dy du only. Okay, that's why. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to use the second method. Okay, for second method, y equal to cos x. Okay, second method. First, you derive the first function that you see from the left. The first function that you see from the left is cos x. Cos. Okay. So, can be written like this. Okay, first function from the left. Sorry, cos 4x here. Okay. Okay, first function from the left, you will see is cos 4x. So, differentiate the whole thing. Cos 4x and you will get what? Plus. Minus sine 4x. Times with the second function. What is the second function here? The second function here is 4x. Okay? G prime G prime x is Okay, so gf here is cos 4x and g here is just 4x. So, a differentiate uh 4x you will get 4 so, the final answer is this one. Okay. Okay, I hope you, you can understand this. So, for the second method here, for the B here, we're going to use the second method again. So, B is Y equal to tan sine X. What we should do? Differentiate the first function you see from the left, which is tan, and just let the uh, anything um, on the uh, the second function just let it be. Okay, as you can see in the formula here. Okay, differentiate tan, and you will get second square. And we write back the uh, second function gx is sine x. And you should uh, differentiate gx to be g prime x. So differentiate sine x, you will get cos x. Okay, easy peasy, right? <laughs> okay, class. I... I, I was talking to myself just now because I did not uh, realize that I haven't um, turned on the uh, record function. So, for this one here is y equal to third x square plus 1 which can be rewritten like this. x square plus 1 to the power of half. And then what you should do is you should differentiate the function. The overall function first, okay, which is uh, f prime. So, differentiate this um, uh, half brought to the front and this um, half minus 1 times with the differentiation of the function inside here, okay. Okay, so what uh, what uh, the thing that is inside here is this x square plus 1. So, differentiate 
this part here you will get this and differentiate uh, d dx of x square plus 1 you will get 2x so this should be the final answer